Let's look more closely at regional LV dysfunction. This is defined as impaired contraction in a specific segment of myocardium. The causes for this are most commonly ischemia or myocardial infarction or certain cardiomyopathies that present with these regional wall motion abnormalities. Clinical signs you may see outside of using TEE include EKG changes, whether it's the ST segment or T wave, arrhythmias, increased pulmonary artery pressures, or heart rate changes, whether you see new tachycardia or new bradycardia. And the treatment for these, especially if it's ischemic disease, going to the cath lab for potential revascularization, medications such as thrombolytics, antiplatelet, or anticoagulant agents, and then optimizing supply versus demand when it comes to decreasing the heart rate, increasing the mean arterial pressure as well. Some of the views I'll use to assess regional LV dysfunction include the metastophageal four-chamber view, two-chamber view, long axis, and the transgastric short axis view. Keep in mind that the patient may have already had baseline abnormalities. You'll also want to see if it's consistent with one coronary artery distribution. The most important thing to look at is thickening of the left ventricle. It's more important than motion of the left ventricle, where normal thickening is defined by greater than 30%, hypokinesis 10 to 30%, and akinesis less than 10%. Take a look at the RV, because if that's dilated and failing, it may indicate a right coronary artery infarct that's causing the bradycardia and RV failure. You can see a hypokinetic anterior wall with that first echocardiographic clip. The next echo clip, you see a left circumflex artery injury where you have poor wall thickening of that inferolateral wall segment. And then these other echo clips at the bottom, you see akinesis, especially of that LV apical area, and you have thinned myocardium that's hardly thickening at all. And then you have poor function of that inferior wall in that last echo clip with a subsequent aneurysm that's present.